ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு கிருஷ்ண மிஸ்ட்ரி ஜென்ரல் ஆர்கானிக் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி இஸ் த பேக் போன் ஆஃப் ஆர்கானிக் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி இஃப் யூ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஜென்ரல் ஆர்கானிக் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி இன் எ வெரி வெரி வெல் மேன் ஆவர் யூ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆர்கானிக் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி இன் எ வெரி வெரி வெல் மேனர் நோ டவுட் பட் இஃப் யூ கான்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஜென்ரல் ஆர்கானிக் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி வெல் யுவர் ஆர்கானிக் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி வில் பி ஜீரோ ஸோ ஐ எம் ஸ்டார்டிங் ஜென்ரல் ஆர்கானிக் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி டுடே ஸோ இன் திஸ் ஜென்ரல் ஆர்கானிக் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி the first topic the basic topic is inductive effect this is one electron electronic displacement effect first of all in this inductive effect actually kisi topic shuru karne ke liye complete karne ke liye padhne ke liye aur padhane ke liye bhi ek rasta zarurat hai इस इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट शुरू करने के लिए भी मेरे पास एक रास्ता है दीज आर द फाइव पॉइंट्स विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट वेरी वेरी इन ए वेरी वेरी क्लियर मैन ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन पोलार एंड नॉन पोलार बॉन्ड्स दिस इज द बैकबोन ऑफ इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट विदाउट नोइंग वॉट इज पोलार बॉन्ड एंड वॉट इज नॉन पोलार बॉन्ड यू कॉन्ट स्टडी इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस फर्स्ट second what is inductive effect the types of inductive effect first one is plus i effect and second one is minus i effect third one groups which will show inductive effect that is the next one fourth one order of the inductive effect fifth one questions i am going to discuss about this three points in this video order of the inductive effect and questions are going to discuss in next videos clear okay so the first one i'm going with polar bonds and non polar bonds first of all what is polar bond and what is non polar bond no don't discuss about the polar bond and non polar bond tell me one thing i heard somewhere that polar people and non polar people are there right polar people and non polar people are there you know who is polar people and who is non polar simple for suppose generally in society we are all there in every person negative qualities are there positive qualities are there but question is how much negativity is there in us how much positivity is there is there in us how much percentage of negativity is there in us how much percentage of positivity is there in us that's the question right now for suppose i'm taking one person here here for suppose i'm taking one person that for suppose one one person i'm taking here okay so he has 25% negativity and again i'm taking another person here he has 100% negativity 100% negativity now these two people these two people are doing friendship now there is a friendship bond between them right there is a friendship bond between them now the uh, negativity difference between he has negative attitude 100% he has negative attitude 25% the difference between the negativity is 75% is 75% right 75% so higher negative difference is there higher negativity difference is there between these two people so when higher negativity difference is there that friendship is called polar friendship polar friendship this bond is called polar bond so because the negativity difference between these two persons is very very high so their friendship is also polar and the bond is polar bond right for suppose this person negativity this person negativity mm, 99% that means are of same attitude and this person negativity is 100% now the difference between these two is only 1% that is negligible negative difference 
the negative attitude difference between the two persons is very very negligible when there is very very negligible the bond is this friendship bond is called non polar right so this friendship bond is called non polar this friendship bond is called polar that means this same concept now apply to elements this same concept apply to elements how see here i am taking carbon here chlorine right second example carbon fluorine here carbon 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 hydrogen clear now this carbon electronegativity is 2.5 2.5 chlorine electronegativity is 3.16 right here carbon 2.5 fluorine 3.98 you don't need to remember the values just remember the periodic table i know you know how to remember the negativity trends in the periodic table right you don't need to remember the values here carbon 2.5 here carbon 2.5 carbon 2.5 2.5 now electronegativity of chlorine is high compared to carbon so there is a significant difference between there is a significant electronegative difference between the carbon and chlorine here also there is a significant difference between carbon and chlorine right so that these two bonds will be called as polar bonds polar bonds here 2.5 2.5 difference is not there electronegativity difference is not there here carbon and hydrogen very negligible electronegativity difference 2.5 minus 2.1 almost 0.4 i think right so negligible electronegativity difference so this is called non polar bond non polar bond clear now you can write the definition just for the sake of your notes what is polar bond and what is non polar bond polar bond is nothing but the bond between the bond between two atoms two atoms which are having which are having high electronegative difference high electronegative difference difference or significant electronegative difference is called polar bond right what is non polar simple the bond between two atoms which are having negligible electronegative difference negligible electronegative difference is called non polar bond right so this is non polar this is polar clear okay if you people are clear about this polar and non polar then now i will start what is inductive effect then tell me what is inductive effect simple first of all tell me what is induction induction means simple induce means introduce induce means introduce so what you have to induce what you have to induce for suppose for suppose again i'm taking the people here i'm taking one person here i'm taking one person and this person is bonded with this person right this person is bonded with this person now some other person is there here i am just taking another chart piece here for suppose i am adding one group here i am adding one one another person here one another attitude person here okay for suppose this person will give some negative attitude to this to these people 
okay for suppose this person will give some negative attitude this person can give some negative attitude to these people in the same way this person can can accept or grab some negativity from these people okay in the same way in the same way just to see what is inductive effect initially i said carbon carbon is non polar right it is non polar simple induce means introduce you have to introduce some polarity to non polar molecule you have to introduce some polarity to non polar molecule that is called induction that is called induction and which is called inductive effect so what you have to do how you can induce now for suppose for example i'm having this for example i'm having ch3 ch2 ch2 and this group that means initially for suppose you don't consider this group now this carbon chain is non polar this carbon chain is non polar now i have to induce some polarity here then what I have to do i have to add some other group here i have to add some other group here depending upon the nature of the group depending upon the nature of the group this chain can get polarity this chain can get polarity that is called inductive effect i will clear you for suppose in place of this group this is called inductive effect okay now in place of this group i'm taking fluorine i'm taking fluorine now this fluorine is more electronegative than this carbon so obviously it will get some partial negative charge it will get partial positive charge because of adding this atom electronegative atom to this chain every carbon has some partial positive charge now a little effect is there a little effect is there but always remember here one point what is the point very 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 important point this carbon has more inductive effect either it is plus i or minus i what is positive inductive effect what is negative inductive effect i will discuss with you but inductive effect is always higher on the first carbon why inductive effect is distance dependent that means inductive effect is distance dependent distance is inversely proportional to the inductive effect if distance is high inductive effect will be low if distance is low inductive effect will be high this is the principle okay now inductive effect is very very high here okay now what what happens here simple compare this is the first carbon this is the second carbon this is the third carbon compare it to the second carbon because of this inductive effect is very high here right so compare it to the second carbon this is more electron deficient this first carbon is more electron deficient then what happens now second carbon says you don't worry i will give some electrons to you you don't worry i will give some electrons to you so that this second carbon is giving some electron density to the first carbon so that it is getting extra positive charge so two delta plus again this carbon is very near to fluorine compared to the third carbon so that it is more electron deficient now again third carbon now is saying you don't need to worry i will give some electron density to you so it is getting three positive charge delta 3 plus delta 3 plus so this is called inductive now see initially in these two carbons polarity is not there but after att attaching this group polarity arrived polarity obtained right so compared to this carbon this carbon is more electron deficient right so there is electronegative difference between the carbons also so polarity induced so this is called inductive effect this is called inductive effect 
instead of this now now this fluorine is electronegative right so this is called actually it is taking negative charge from the chain so this is this is called minus i effect what is minus i effect minus means removal of negativity electron density towards itself right it is removing electron negativity from the chain so it is minus i effect now what is plus i effect ch3 ch2 ch2 now o minus now what happens instead of f i have o minus now this o minus is electron donating group now not electron withdrawing group fluorine is electron withdrawing group it is electron donating group now this electron donating group giving electrons to this initially this chain is non polar now it is giving electrons to this so throw out the chain i have partial negative charge okay here partial positive charge right now this carbon is very near to the oxygen so compare to this compare to this it has it is giving electron density to this right it is giving electron density to, to this so in the same way here delta 2 minus here delta 3 minus clear clear so this is called plus i effect this is called plus i effect clear so this is about the minus i and plus i effect so if you have electron withdrawing group to the carbon chain that is minus i effect if you have electron donating group to the carbon chain that is plus i effect okay now here you have to remember some points very very important points the first point inductive effect only applicable on sigma bonds only applicable applicable on sigma bonds right next next inductive effect of hydrogen is zero why ch4 carbon 2.5 hydrogen 2.1 so there is no polar nature almost neg negligible difference of electronegativity so when electronegativity difference is not there then this hydrogen inductive effect is zero right next this inductive effect is permanent effect it's permanent effect but we 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 can right it is a permanent effect no doubt right once if the chain gets polarity you can't do anything again so it is a permanent effect but it is weak effect right next one important point distance very 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 important point distance is inversely proportional to the inductive effect right next this is also very important point inductive effect vanishes inductive effect vanishes vanishes after third carbon after third carbon that means in the chain in the chain if i have like this right if i have like this so 1 2 3 up to here only inductive effect will be considered at this fourth carbon inductive effect vanishes you don't need to see the inductive effect at fourth carbon okay this is also important point so these are the five points which are very very important now 
which groups will show plus effort and which groups will show minus effort how we can get to know i have one trick so the groups 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 which show which show minus effort groups which show minus effort which groups will show minus effort so the first one trick is pradhan mantri pradhan mantri pockets pradhan mantri pockets filled with filled with positive atoms pradhan mantri pockets filled with positive atoms next non pradhan mantri okay pradhan mantri pockets filled with positive atoms non pradhan mantri non pradhan mantri pockets filled with filled with negative atoms negative atoms what is this pradhan mantri pockets pradhan mantri pockets means this p pradhan mantri is polar this pockets is nothing but pi bonds that means first one is polar pi bonds polar pi bonds okay filled with positive atoms positive atoms means positive atoms means the atoms having positive charge atoms having positive charge positive charge example example what is the example polar pi bonds polar pi bonds aldehyde ketone ester amide okay acyl halide everything right polar pi bonds examples aldehyde ketone ketone ester ester acyl halide cbocl cbo nh2 cbo nh2 no3 plus right etc these are polar pi bonds right atoms having positive charge that means this atom is attached to the chain first of all right nh3 positive right generally nitrogen will form three bonds i have extra other bond with the chain so positive charge next yes h2 right sulfur generally form two bonds but i have three bonds so positive charge wo h2 positive wo h2 positive uh nf3 positive nf3 positive so this type of atoms having positive charges right clear okay next next these atoms will show minus a non pradhan mantri non pradhan mantri means non polar non polar non polar pockets means pi bonds non polar pi bonds non polar pi bonds filled with negative atoms means electro negative atoms electro negative atoms right non polar pi bonds means benzene benzene right and c triple bond ch this is attached to this chain and again c double bond ch2 
these kind of molecules are non polar pi bonds clear electronegative atoms simple nh3 nh2 already attached to one chain so totally three oh yes h right fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so these are electronegative atoms right so these groups also will show minus i effect clear these are all groups will show minus i effect now the groups which, which show plus i effect groups which show groups which shows plus i effect groups which shows plus i isotopes tritium deuterium hydrogen okay next next the atoms having negative charge atoms having positive charge are showing minus i effect atoms having negative charge showing plus i effect atoms having negative charge right that means here for suppose nh3 positive nh2 neutral nh right for suppose nh2 right three bonds and if i am removing one hydrogen here then i will have this minus okay so this will show plus i next mm. just wait yes i think uh, nh2 minus right nh2 minus and next one mm. here oh neutral oh neutral if i have if i don't have this h if i have if i don't have this h then this o minus right so the atoms which are having negative charge the atoms which are having negative charge is called will give plus i effect next one next one ch3 ch3 ch2 ch3 right next ch ch3 ch3 right etc okay so these groups also will give will give plus right so these are the groups will give plus sign effect right hmm that's all and here you can have yes here yes h this is the neutral if i remove this h then i will get this okay atoms having negative charge so these type of groups will give will give plus a effect right mm, i think nh minus right yes nh minus nh minus okay because nh2 1 2 3 three bonds neutral if i remove one hydrogen then i will get then i will get minus right here two bonds oh then if i remove hydrogen minus yes okay so this is about this class now so in the next class i will discuss order of inductive effect okay and also practice questions p by qs of csir net gate and iit j okay so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching have a nice day